Hey guys, Chris again from Valone's RC Hobby, and in this video, we're going vintage, guys. What you have here is the Tamiya, an original Tamiya Monster Beetle, and Blackfoot. Uh, this this Monster Beetle I've had for, oh gosh, maybe 25 years or more. Uh, this Blackfoot, I did find this on eBay recently, and uh, it was a really good uh, quality vehicle. It's an original vehicle as well. And uh, all I changed was I do have the original wheels and tires, but I did change uh, these wheels. I've had these for ages, and I bought some Monster, um, not Monster Beetle, uh, Midnight Pumpkin or Lunchbox tires uh, to put on it. I wanted to test that out because uh, the Monster, uh, the, the Blackfoot tires are kind of hard, and I, I wanted to try these out. I think the truck actually runs really well with this, with these tires on. Uh, they go on kind of tight because it's a 2.2 inch rim. But the tire is 2.0, but it goes on kind of tight and it uh, works works really really well. Um, so I'm gonna go for a ripping around and I got some old school controllers. Check this out, the Magnum Junior. Oh my God, Futaba. I mean these controllers feel like they got so much meat to them and they got good weight to them compared to the the stuff that comes out today. I mean I know they're not as good as the the 2.4 gigahertz that we have today, but man, I mean these just feel good in the hand and they got a good solid feel to them my monster beetle oh my god old school futaba attack i mean this is old school gear in here <laughs> so um yeah let's go ripping around and see some vintage blackfoot and uh monster beetle in action what i do have in these though let me quickly tell you i have both of them i have the mip differentials in there i changed the differentials out of these because i want to drive them i want to have fun with them i don't want to bash around too much and break them uh, and I did upgrade them to a modified motor. This is old school motor here from back in the day. Trinity Speedworks 350 motor. I believe it's like a 17 or 18 turn uh, motor. Uh, and this was a good upgrade back then. It wasn't going to destroy any gears. Um, you know, it just gives that truck uh, a little bit extra pep. Um, but, you know, you don't, you're not going to really blow anything apart. Uh, you might wear out the stock... Uh, dog bones and gearbox for say a, a stock Blackfoot or Monster Beetle, but with the new differential, um, you shouldn't have a problem. So Speedworks 350 motor. This was a very popular motor back in the day, and uh, you can see this on Tower Hobbies uh, old catalog back in the day. I'm tempted to put this motor into the WL Toys 14401 and uh, give it a shot. The shaft size, I believe, is the same for the pinion. It should work. Uh, I want to try that in here and see what happens. I don't know. Um, I'm experimenting still with this. But anyways, long-winded talk. Let's get out ripping around. Tip over, Blackfoot and Monster Beetle are always known for tipping over. Oh. I like to take these out at least once a month. Just run them, make sure everything is running okay and working. Still has a nickel metal hydride battery in it, six cell. Nothing fancy. I do have a new speed controller in it. I think the new Hobby Wings. Just basic speed controller that can take uh, you know this kind of power. Nothing crazy. Oh, flip. 
no. <laughs> This brings me back when I was a kid. I'm 12 years old, 11, 12 years old, coming up from school, playing with this little guy. I mean, we used to beat the snot out of them. We always broke things, of course. But now I'm a little gentle with them. I mean, this is full throttle, nothing crazy. Flip again. That MIP differential is a godsend. Uh, recently released, really, really nice. I definitely recommend getting it. I wouldn't go, I see some guys going brushless in their Monster Beetle of Blackfoot now with the MIP diff, but I'm not gonna go brushless. I'll stay brushed and keep it still feeling like it did back in the day. Oh yeah, classic. This is the extent what I do. This is vintage. I don't want to break it. This here is some flat ground, some gravel. Hops around like a little bunny rabbit, you know. <laughs> I definitely like the uh, Midnight Pumpkin the One Fox tires on this. It's uh, a little more balanced, not so sensitive to flip. Stock Blackfoot tires are just hard plastic, and they just they flip very easily. <laughs> Still runs good, I love it. Now, I do have a shelf queen in my shop of a bone stock black foot with the correct color on the roof, uh, the body rather, and uh, bone stock gearbox, tires, all that stuff. It's probably just gonna be a shelf queen just to look at it and reminisce. I know they have the re-releases out now, which are cool, but there is something nice about having an original. All right, let's go get the Monster Beetle. Now here's the Monster Beetle. Hey, check that out. With a beetle in the background. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> the two hobbies, I love it. So this Monster Beetle, very similar to the uh, the Blackfoot. Hobby Wing Quick Run 1060 speed controllers in them, oil filled shocks, and again, the Speedworks 350 uh, motors, if you see in there, and the MIP differential. Uh, very, very cool, I love it. I did do some mods on this. I will definitely show you in another video what I did to strengthen some things. The arms, was a lot of the arms and such, they're known to break. Got a lot of plastic here, so, uh, but geez, 25, 30 years old, you see this little guy and he's still running. All right, let's go. Oh yeah. Woohoo! Monster beetle. I painted the body blue, had some vintage stickers that I picked up. 
I'm glad the uh, re-releases came out because you still buy parts for these. That was cool. Oh, the vintage RC days. Guys, I don't know if you ever grew up in the 80s, if this guy's out there like me. Oh, God. That was such a wonderful time in life. <laughs> it was so hot back in the 80s. All my friends on my block were all getting into these, especially Tamiya, the Kyosho cars. Just really cool. Used to build them, modify them, make our own tracks. Yeah, look at them doing donuts. Nice. <laughs> it's like I feel safe filming them while I'm driving at the same time. <laughs> They're not so fast. Now, this is much faster than the stock can motor that came with these. I think the stock motors are maybe like 20 or 21 turn. So this uh, 17 or 18 turn motor in here is, gives a little bit extra boost. I remember back in the day, they used to have conversions for these. And since the Claude Buster was very popular, everyone wanted the big tires. Stay off of their you know, Monster Beetle, to put on their Monster Beetle or Blackfoot, but they didn't have the money to go get a Clod Buster. So, they had a conversion kit, you can get some bigger tires to put on these. I remember that kit. I think back in the day that kit was 100 bucks? That's a lot of money back then. These cars, the Blackfoot, the Monster Beetle, hovered around 100 $125 for the kit. And then you still had to buy batteries, get a controller, and uh, get a charger. So, I don't know. Still pricey for even, you know, back then in the 80s. Uh, I mean, you could buy stuff now that's faster, more durable, more aerodynamic, and engineered so much better for around the same price or even less. It's amazing. And we're how many years later? 25, 30 years later. So, pretty crazy. But they're still expensive. I still see Tamaya and uh, Kyosho stuff. Very expensive. I have the Kyosho Double Dare inside. I'm gonna get that out one day and do another vintage run. I have the Double Dare and the USA One. And if you go on eBay right now and look at uh, non-built, non, non original, in the box, Double Dares, they're asking close to $1,000 for some of them. Some, oh, a flip, oh my gosh. I was hoping for a perfect run. <laughs> All right, buddy, let's go. But yeah, the, the double dares in. There was a rare truck, I guess, uh, for now. I mean, it didn't sell as well as the Claude Buster or the Tamiya cars. And it's considered pretty rare, but really expensive now as a kit. It's still an un unbuilt kit. And I got two of them, and I'm always afraid to drive those because those things like to break as well. So much fun. This is uh, really brings me back. Overall, this is pretty well balanced, especially with the oil filled shocks that I put on. I do like the new electronics I got in it. it just makes things uh, a little more enjoyable and less hassle with the old school stuff. So I don't mind doing a vintage car and then you know upgrading it a bit. I don't know if I'd go brushless. Brushless just might be a little too much. I've seen it online. These guys are going brushless in these, and it's pretty wild. And you can definitely do it in the MI with the MIP diff. But I like it just like this. Awesome. 
So sweet. Mwaha! <laughs> All right, guys. Well, just wanted to do a quick run for you. The Tamaya Monster Beetle, the Tamaya Blackfoot. Vintage trucks, excellent, excellent cars. Back in the day, this was just, uh, this was it, guys. This was what, a, what we were all about. Coming home from school and playing with our cars. And uh, all my friends would get on the street and we'd get on the block and do races and do whatever we wanted with these things and just had a blast. Really cool, I like that you can still buy these and they're as a kit. And you can build them great father-son project or father-daughter for that matter build these things have fun get your kids hands dirty so to speak and uh that's it i hope you enjoyed this video please be sure to like subscribe hit that notification bell and i will be bringing you videos like this each and every week vintage rcs new rcs and uh that's it guys i hope you have a great weekend please be safe be healthy out there you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's pretty scary times right now, what's going on in the country, for the world, for that matter. Uh, so, hope you guys are safe. Get out, go RCing, and have fun. Take care.